Hey everybody, uh, as you all know, it's an election year, and we've got a lot of hot button issues, sorry about that, that need some attention, um, and also a lot of hot button issues that are getting the wrong attention, uh, not only in Washington, but in local and state governments as well. So here's the thing. I want you to think about for a minute, not just the things that have been done recently in the last four years, two years, whatever, that you approve of, but think of also the things you don't approve of. Think of the policies that have changed that either hurt you, your friends, your family. Think of, you know, the fact that our government just keeps exploding the national debt um, I'm sure you all know when you don't pay your debts eventually a bill collector comes along and well the rest of the world is the bill collector uh, I hate to tell you but anyway besides that we've got people here at the end of their terms governors senators the president doing things to try and make it look like they've been active the whole time when in reality the beginnings of their terms in offices have been very uneventful and what you know budget cuts and da 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 you know education cuts only during this recent covid crisis have teachers been getting attention because well they they're not getting paid if they're not in the classroom except for those who may be doing online stuff but now, with all these teachers out of work, and uh, they're they finally decided here in Florida, at least, to give them a raise, which they should have had 10 years ago. Uh, they're changing it to where it's no longer going to be based on your students' grades, from what I understand, which is a big plus. Um, you should not... Not all teachers are great teachers, but you should not pay them any differently just because of that. Um, they're a teacher, they went to school, they got the degree, maybe they're just not good with kids. Uh, that happens, you know. There's people going to psychiatry or surgery that really it's not their passion, they're not that good at it, but they get the job done. You know, same thing with politics. Um, you know, Trump being a businessman, most of his decisions have been based around profits or losses. Um, which, yeah, that makes sense. Like I said, we do have a huge national debt. But we need to look at ways money is being mishandled as well. Um, you know, all the budget cuts that happened previous to the COVID crisis that have either been swept under the rug or have suddenly changed since the government has become in the spotlight. Uh, of course, all governments are in the spotlight in, in the United States right now because a lot of them are dropping the ball. Um, and that's a big, big issue we need to think about this election, is how our politicians have handled the COVID crisis. Um, not many of them have handled it well. Uh, especially, sorry to say, the Republicans uh, seem to have tried to blow it off like our president has. Um, well... <laughs> We tried blowing it off, and now it's blown up again, uh, actually to worse than it was before any of our lockdowns. It's time to vote for people who want to help the people, us, normal folks, white collar, blue collar, no collar, you know. We need help. We need health care that everybody can afford. In other words, tax-based health care. Um, that, there again, don't be scared by that term. That means you will no longer be paying a private insurance company. You will not be paying co-pays. You will not be paying any of that crap you're paying now. You just be paying a tax, and it all comes free for the rest of your life in Canada. I don't know about here how they're going to end up doing it here, but we need to vote uh, for politicians who want change, who want to modernize us, bring us to, up to speed with the rest of the world, in which Healthcare is largely free. Um, you know, only here in the U.S. do we try to make absorbent 
fees off of people from another country just because their government takes care of them instead of a private insurance company. Um, Canadians that have a problem here, they stabilize them, and then Canada sends a plane or whatever to come and get them because they don't want the, their people getting screwed over by the American health care system. Um, I don't know if you know this, but they have to buy special insurance just to come here for an extended length of time, like the snowbirds. Sorry I keep moving the phone around. My cat's trying to be a pain in the butt. But yeah, um, our health care system sucks, and that's something we need to really think about when it comes to our next politicians. Um, Medicaid, at least in Florida, you can't get it anymore if you've been denied SSA or SSI. Uh, it's, it's right in the paperwork they send you. So what are people to do who are disabled but could not prove it to the government? It's up to the states to then individually assess and decide whether or not the person is disabled enough for Medicaid. That's the way it used to be. It needs to get back to that because it's disability insurance, basically, and for people who cannot pay for it, for people who cannot afford extra costs. You know, I'm sick. I got a lot of conditions that need to be checked out. I'm supposed to be in the care of a neurologist from age 18 on up to now, and I'm not, and I have all kinds of problems, but it's because things have changed so radically that a normal person can't get help. You know, in the, in the disability paperwork I got from the judge. Now it's like if you can work at all, you can work. It used to be disability was based on whether or not you can support yourself. Um, and which is the way it's supposed to be. There again, it's disability insurance. Um, but the politicians that we've had have made it this way. And don't blame Obama because that is not something he did. Sorry. Obamacare, the original idea was good. And it kept getting shot down until he had to revamp it. Um, but still, uh, even in the beginning, it wasn't that bad. Until they started gutting the policies, then it really got bad. Taking away coverage for pre-existing conditions and stuff like that. I, you know, if you don't care about that, think about something for a minute. The fact that you had a broken leg or a torn rotator cup at 18 years old is a pre-existing condition. So if you're having trouble with it now, your insurance is not going to cover it under that policy. Uh, think I'm wrong? Just evaluate the question, please. The answer is in the question. But, again, I digress from my point, which is we need to vote for people who want change, who want to modernize America and get it back up to speed with the rest of the world. You know, the rest of the world is growing. We have been stagnant for so dang long. Uh, it's time to change. Remember that come Election Day. Peace.